Today I wanted to talk about the SIG P320 X5 Legion. Okay, and in today's video, we're going to cover a couple things. Uh, before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to all the new uh, subscribers that we've gotten. Um, a lot of them have physically came through the Staccato P um, full mod job that I got done by Vulcan Machine Works. Stay tuned. Uh, will be another follow-up video for that. I'm currently working on getting that gun through 1,500 rounds. Um, and I will do a review once I'm complete. So stay tuned for more information on that 1,500 uh, round review mark. Um, and uh, we will go from there on that gun. Um, next, I wanted to just quickly cover um, the whole intent of the channel. It's supposed to be safety tips and, and things of that nature. And I'm gonna cover a couple of those in this, in this video. However, I just wanted to make the channel a little bit more interactive. If you have some questions that you may feel are stupid or anything like that, you will get no ridicule from me. I would appreciate it if everyone else who's reading the comments tries to um, stay respectful as well. This is a channel intended for new gun owners um, and tips and tricks related to that audience. So if you are new to firearms, this is supposed to be to help you out. These are all the things that I wish I would have known going into guns, um, so on and so forth to help me not waste so much money and understand the you know just under just understanding how everything operates and, and things of that nature so um feel free to you know comment any questions you have if you have any comparisons or anything like that that you um are considering or want an opinion or anything at all that's really what i'm trying to get at feel feel comfortable to comment and i will do my best to answer as quickly back as I can with the most honest truth that I have. Everything that you see here on the channel is completely paid for by me. I try to make videos every Wednesday, so stay tuned every Wednesday for new stuff. It's a good competition gun, it's a good range gun, and um, it would be a good um, home defense gun. So this gun pretty much hits every category other than simply concealed carry. So this is a very universal gun. And again, if you have something that's very e easy to conceal, you're not going to be able to shoot it quickly, far distance, unless you're a really, really good shooter. But again, this channel's for newbies. So um, if you're looking to get into firearms, you have a budget um, that you don't want to go over. This gun only, you know, MSRP is $9.99. Um, and everything you see right here is what you get. So there's nothing that I've modified on the gun other than uh, a gas pedal. So what this is going to do is when you have your grip, and you're trying to shoot it, you're gonna be able to push down on this and really wrench the gun forward to help mitigate a lot of the recoil that the gun is gonna feel. Um, so with that being said, um, let's jump into, now that I've covered usability for it, price range, and um, you know all the intended purposes of it, let's jump into some of the specifications and why it's such a good gun. So number one, we'll start bottom up, uh, the integrated magwell. The magwell is blended extremely well into the gun, and as you can see, all around the whole entire gun it's blended really well makes reloads really easy so if you're reloading the gun is very very easy with that magwell i've had lots of guns where the magwells have been very very difficult to um you know they're kind of jagged on the inside and that is not not the case on this one so it's blended really well it's got a really good angle so pretty much um, you can really seat the mag from any real general direction as long as you have it obviously going the correct way um, and you don't get it caught like uh, you know with just a rare angle like this you know something to that extreme you'll be fine now um, other things that are making this gun extremely good are is the laser stippled texture this is an amazing texture it really helps you lock in even after you've been shooting a lot you get um, you know, your hands get a little sweaty at the range everything like that um, the mag release has extended a little bit. It does function really well. It doesn't take a ton of pressure to release it, which I really like. Um, there's really no reason that I put pressure on the mag release unless I intend to release it. So I don't really like the ones where you have to push it all the way down. This one is actually the, the perfect combination. It's not too light, but it's not too heavy to press the, the button and the travel on. It's just perfect for me. So I really like that. Um, we'll keep going up. The uh, trigger skeletonized trigger is amazing it is very um, light it's advertised like three and a half pounds or something and just depending on um, you know I feel like once you get the trigger broken in a little bit more it'll lighten up a little bit more but it's a very consistent pull um, so obviously we're safety checked uh, the magazines empty so we'll go ahead and do a dry fire so you can see the engagements really short so it's already engaged and you pull it back a little bit further and break 
okay? The only thing that I do not like is the reset. It takes you back to, okay, there it reset, but check this out. That's the same exact spot where it reset. So it takes you back to the start, which for me is a little bit of a nuisance. However, if you're just now getting into guns, this is a really good gun to teach you how to um, do a constant, consistent, and clean trigger pull. So two things going to shooting reliably, or shooting reliably, shooting accurately, in my opinion, and I guess reliably is is part of it, is your trigger control. So when it breaks, how how clean of a trick, how clean the brake is while maintaining the front sight in the exact same spot, and then also your grip. So your grip is gonna make sure that the gun helps return after it cycles up for follow-up shots, and then obviously your trigger control is gonna be how important it is to accurately uh, hit your target. So the mixture of the two help you shoot incredibly quick, and that's why I really like the good trigger, the um, gr great texturing, and um, also the additional things that you can add, like the gas pedal. So again, that was about 40 bucks. I bought it off eBay, um, and it really helps you really, really get a good purchase on the gun. Next, we'll move up to the top. So they did some, cut, uh, some lightning cuts to lighten up the slide to um, help lower the reciprocating mass uh, because the gun does have a little bit of a higher bore axis is what it's called. And essentially what that does is when the gun recoils, you can see when you grip the gun, as high as you can get, there's still a little bit higher of a um, you know distance in between where you can get as high as you can on the on the beaver tail to where the barrel is. So this is what's called the bore axis, and this one that's why it's high because you have about you know even if you grip it as hard as I possibly can, you still got about half a finger there. So um, that is something to keep in mind. This is this, this does create a weird rocking motion when you're first getting used to it. You can get used to that and control it by shooting the gun, one, two, adding things like a um, gas pedal and or a light. Um, this has a full Picatinny rail, so you can add whatever light you want on here virtually and helps add more weight. Weight underneath the barrel is gonna help mitigate that rocking sensation as well as a heavier grip module, which this one is infused with tungsten. So this gun is actually about 43 and a half pounds and it makes it shooting really quickly and really easy. Next we have um, the guide rod, I forgot to cover this. Uh, we kind of already went to the um, slide cuts, but we'll go back down here. Um, the light, the guide rod is actually an uncaptured system. It makes the gun have a lighter recoil system, and it also makes it, in my opinion, it seems like it cycles a lot faster. So I really like that. Also, um, in regards to that, uh, you'll get two guide, uh, springs for the guide rod a purple and an orange. The purple is the heavier of the two. That is my recommendation, especially if you're going to be shooting 115 grain. I have about 400 rounds for this gun, not a single issue. And it's um, like not even the first one. I know a lot of people say, oh, you have to shoot a couple magazines and it completely goes away. Um, I've had no issues whatsoever just with that purple recoil spring. I uh, did not add any extra lubricant or anything like that. I simply put the new um, recoil spring in and went to the range and shot it and never had an issue. So I really like that. Um, another thing I forgot to cover is the extended slide stop. It works really well. As you can see, it is protruding a lot and it has an undercut here to help you really, really uh, come over the top of it. And I really like that. Um, next, we have fully adjustable Dawson Precision Sights. These are amazing. They go up, down, left, and right, fully adjustable. And they have a very, very clean um, green fiber front post that's really thin and the fiber optic rod is actually very small so it really helps you shoot very accurately. All in all with all that stuff that I talked about makes this gun I believe a very quick accurate shooting low recoiling system especially with the long barrel it's nearly a five inch barrel it might be a five inch barrel it's really close you can see all the specs online um, however I think that this is a fantastic choice for uh, everything other than concealed carry this is a gun that can serve many purposes and I really really like it so another thing that's really popular about the the SIG um, platform is it has a fire control unit so actually this the trigger system assembly serialized part will twist out after you take uh, this guy out and you can swap it for different frames grip modules uppers lowers whatever you want it is makes it very nice so you can have a um, for instance you could get a m18 and you could or even just a regular p320 and you could then buy this upper and this for, uh, grip module and then you could have two guns you could swap between a carry gun and for the weekends you could take it to the range 
pretty cool, right? Uh, you can't really do that with too many other guns. Um, so I really like that they uh, integrated that system in there as well. Um, that also makes nicer when you have a couple different guns that are similar. For instance, this is the grip module to my um, Spectre Comp. This actually was a stipple job that was done by SRB Customs. They're a company out of Houston, Texas. They have some of the quickest turnaround times. I really, really like dealing with um, the guy that um, handles all the communication. And uh, he's really quick. It's three to five business days, and it absolutely um, lives up to its entire purpose. They do really, really clean lines. This is actually a pa package that was specifically done for me. Um, on his regular SIG, he kind of does an undercut here and comes up back around. I wanted a straight magwell, and I wanted the finger pad groove deleted um, because he'll essentially stipple on the inside. Then you'll have a piece of shiny part there, and I just wanted all that gone. So he worked the actual um, border into the actual... Um, uh, finger groove there so and it makes it a lot nicer in my opinion you also made this up a lot higher so where it ends you can see on this one the texture ends like significantly lower and then on this one it pretty much goes all the way up to the bottom of the sig emblem so i really like how this turned out i haven't even shot this yet but i will tell you out of grippiness this is double what this one is and this one feels fantastic so this one will be a real delight on the range uh, the better the grip you have the least amount of adjustment readjustments you'll have to re-gripping it and uh, the easier it is to recoil it is very very grippy um, more importantly if you're not used to this this is something that i would do maybe later on or with a spare grip because it is incredibly um not sharp but it is it's abrasive so if you're not used to or if you haven't built up that tolerance just yet to understanding how these um, are going to feel i would not do that up until you're ready however when you are ready i would reach out to srb customs i will comment his link into um, the video comments i don't have access to adding links into the description something to do with age of channel or something like that i guess um, i haven't reached that yet so at some point i will be able to but right now i'm not so i will comment um the link to um, his channel in the comments. So be on the lookout for that. They have some of the best prices, um, most consistent work and quickest turnaround time that I've seen. And I've worked with just about every single stippling company out there. And I have sent him probably four in the last three or four months. So I really like the work he does. It always ends up the same, good. Um, and he does uh, some comp, uh, different modifications that I think are really, really nice. So, and I actually have a follow-up video to the SRB Customs, um, you know, comments that I've had on that. I will show you my custom Glock 19X in the future. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, however, this is a fantastic gun. I And then um, to move on to our next segment is also the X Legion Club. So once you buy an X5 Legion, you get a couple goodies, which is including this range back here. It is the 5.11 one one range bag you can see it there okay and then it comes with a pocket and six retensive uh straps there you can see to store your magazines as well as a legion coin when i find it and the nice thing about the coin is it says legion but it also has an image of your firearm so if you do a 229 226 320 whatever you get you get this specific coin and all you need to do is check your box and the box will have a um, voucher in there you add the stuff to your cart after you sign in make an account and then you add the stuff to your cart it'll have you register for a legion ownership and then once you get all that stuff figured out it'll give you a coupon code to your email you add everything to your cart you add the coupon code in it discounts it for free and they mail it to you for free so pretty cool gear if you have an x5 legion or um, looking to get one make sure you redeem that code because it's free stuff that is pretty cool and uh, if you don't have a range bag then you don't need to spend on one right so just stuff for newbies i think that was a pretty cool ad um, another thing is um, that I haven't covered yet are the detach, detachable base pads that come on the SIG magazine. So if you have a SIG mag, um, there are a number of different base plates that you can get. That's what these are called. And they extend how many rounds your, your magazine can carry. My favorite are Terran Tactical for the sole reason of the quality is extremely high. Um, they don't seem to scratch up as easy, near, uh, almost at all um, unless you're dropping them on like bare concrete or rock they're really not going to get bing, uh, dinged up um, they look great and then they also come with a spring that uh, gives you like plus 10 retention so that way you have the same feel from the factory base plate because obviously you're extending the distance so if you use the same spring this probably won't even come all the way up so with the new spring they give you and all the hardware that they give you um, this makes it incredibly nice to be able to 
um, have you know some extra rounds makes it more fun for range day and it's actually a very reliable system actually I've had these uh, these base plates on multiple different firearms and they all work the same they're all extremely high quality and um, you just can't go wrong with it now keep in mind he does have sales on his stuff he has a memorial day set memorial day sale coming up so uh keep it if you want some of these keep an eye on his website i believe it's 20 percent off and it happens like once a year other than that you really don't get discounts on these and they're well worth it discount or not so i'm really happy with these other thing is if you have an m18 p320 compact it doesn't matter these magazines all fit as long as it's the same um width so like a p365 won't fit m18 or p320 but if it's a p320 they all fit the same magazines which is cool